Welcome back to Mechanical Pros. I'm here with Jesse, and today we're talking about cooling towers, rigging, and how to set the fan section onto the cold water basin and why that's so important. Jesse, tell me what we got going on here. So we're out here now. These towers were set um, a couple years ago. On the seam between your uh, basin section and your fan section, there's a specific way to put the seam tape that's in the directions. It's gonna tell you on the two of the sides, it's gonna be a single layer and the other two sides are a double layer. And then you need to use pins. We like to use the long, big screwdrivers to guide your tower in to set exactly, cause you only wanna set it once. When you set it twice, and that's what happens a lot of times is someone will set it, it's not quite right. So they gotta pick it back up and that pulls that tape away and then it repositions the tape and then that's where you get your leaks. Um, and then the bolts have to be put in a certain way. They should be bolts sticking up and then use the washers that come with it and then use the nylon nuts to hold them in place so you don't have to worry about vibration. So these are, these are uh, large uh, factory made cooling towers. They're 24 feet long. So when you set that, they come in two different sections. Your cold water basin is gonna come in a separate truck and your fan section is gonna come in a separate truck and then you set the cold water basin, then you set the fan section on top of it. When you set that fan section on top of it, let me grab this camera here. When you set this fan section on top of the cold water basin, you have this seam right along here. And at this seam, so on the, on the short section, you can see how this is a shorter section here. You put two layers of this, of this seal tape, which is a butyl uh, black tar seal tape. It's about one inch long, comes in rolls. And then on the same, on the long sections here, you put one, one layer of tape and then these, this hardware here would be pointing, the nuts would be on top and the head of the bolt would be what, what you see right now. And as you have riggers on this, the, the crane sets the tower down. You basically set one corner, you have multiple riggers that are, that are working this thing with either a rig pin or long screwdrivers to be able to guide the tower to set exactly where it needs to set. And as, it, as you're setting it, you're adjusting the position of the fan section to align to the bolts. These towers should set perfectly on top of each other with some rigging and some expertise, and it should be a leak-free situation once it's set and bolted. I got you some right. of the seam tape. So this is a seal tape. To me, this is a permanent solution. It's much better than caulk. And so on, on the short sections, the IOM says to put two layers of this tape on it and then bolt through it. And then on the long sections, just one layer of, one layer of tape and then bolt through it. And um, sometimes it has a, uh, a rubber nylon gasket that goes in the middle of it. And if it does have that nylon gasket, you want it on the inside of the tower side so that your bolt goes through the outside of that of that gasket and that is additional waterproofing and sealing to keep the water inside the tower water's precious we got to keep it inside the tower to be as efficient as possible so now we're inside the tower obviously you can tell this is a, a large cooling tower it's a counterflow cooling tower i love counterflow because you have all the fill media above you and then the uh, the cold water basin section here, as you can see, is completely open. You can walk about it, you can maintain it, you can access it, and you can work inside the cooling tower. As opposed to a cross flow, you would have a lot of fill media in here and your access would be re restricted. Jesse, tell me about what we have going on here inside the tower. Why are we in, in here and, 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 what is, and what is there to do that we have, to, we have to fix? So what we have to fix inside this tower is this uh, crossover section which allows the cold water basins to equalize between the two. They used improper hardware. So it's supposed to be stainless steel bolts, stainless steel nuts, stainless steel washers. They put some galvanized in the bottom of this thing and they rusted out and that's what's causing the leak. On one of the other flume boxes, we didn't even have this seal tape. There you can see that goes all the way around and that gets bolted in just like the uh, fan section and, and uh, basin section. To, to make that a watertight seam because there's a lot of water pressure there. This will be, this will probably be about up to here with water in it. And so you want it to be a, uh, basically a swimming pool. It's a watertight swimming pool, not leaking any water because water is precious. And then also the chemicals we use to uh, make sure that we're not scaling up, creating uh, inefficiencies in the, in the tower itself. Those are expensive. And if we're losing water, then we're losing chemical too. 
So it's really important that uh, you know, your coolant tower is uh, installed properly and it's, it's dry. You're keeping all that water inside the tower. Uh, one other benefit of the, the counterflow is you can clean the entire basin. Everywhere you see, we can clean this up and that keeps that dirt from getting into the system if it's a chill water system or whatever system it is. Yeah. It's a, it's a great advantage. So that's keeping cooling towers uh, or, or rigging and setting cooling towers. It's really important. It's a really common mistake. Everybody, almost every, if there's a tower that leaks, this is the reason why the tower leaks. 90% of the time, it's usually a leak due to uh, some kind of rigging uh, misalignment. And on a tower this long, it's a, it's a, it's a lot big tower to set. Mm -hmm. And uh, you probably need you know, at least probably six guys yeah. working on a crew to set a tower like this. And so even on the section, so this would be one cell and then this would be another cell. And you can see that they have some plates here and these are removable plates that, and they're designed that way to give you access in order to be able to access the hardware and the bolts to be able to bolt these things together at the flange. We love talking about cooling towers. We'll put out some more content on cooling towers. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and come back and check us out on Mechanical Pros.